Golly, my hair's a mess, but that's because it's windy outside. Anyhow, it is afternoon. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I am just getting started working on this today after, you know, uh, having to go to the lumber store again and uh, get the boards that I needed. But what I did, uh, my lumber store didn't have the 1x3s that I was going to use to put the shelves in the pantry, so... They had one by four, so I'm gonna rip those down in half and use those uh, like this all the way around to do my shelving. So that's my goal for today is to get those ripped and put in place and get the, the shelves cut down to size and put in place. And then maybe tomorrow I can frame out the door, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, it might go so easy today. I could do the, the door today too, but I doubt it. <laughs> Anyhow, so I'll put you guys on time lapse and let's see what I can get done. You're like a river in the dark. Damn me right, you lit the spark And I can feel you tearing down every wall Your mesmerizing 
Okay, guys, that is all I'm going to do for today. Um, but that's the shelves in place. And I'm kind of liking it. Okay, I'm really liking it. I already want to, like, start filling it. <laughs> but I still need to do the door and paint it. And, yeah. So that's what the inside's going to look like. Most of these filler blocks that I put in, these are the two by four scraps that I had. Most of them pretty much lined up. Um, some of them, like that one back there, it's a little bit too deep. But the rest of these I did pretty good with lining them up. But on this side, I was asleep at the wheel. So once I get the panel here, there's going to be like a little drop off in here on two of these. And I decided forget it I'll just keep it as is and uh and go with it this was I framed this out here for a spice rack if I want to do one um sometime in the future <clears throat> so I have the blocking there and it would have required taking this blocking out and moving it up and I just it ain't that important to me golly my hair is a mess today but yeah so Someday, if I want to, I could frame out a spice rack right there. But for right now, I'm just going to skin that whole thing and hopefully frame out a door tomorrow. I got, I think I got all the pieces that I need to do the door. So I'll frame it out, get it hung, and then uh, decide if I'm going to... Uh, put decoration on the front of the door or if I'm just going to leave it, you know, just paint it white and leave it uh, flat. But um, the other thing I was going to tell you is I thought I was going to be able to um, just use my nail gun and, you know, do the little brad nails in here. Gosh, it's dark in here. You can't even see. But it wasn't working out. Then um it probably would have worked if I'd have had longer nails in the gun, but I don't know where my longer nails were. So I just went ahead and used the little one and a half inch um, cabinet screws and screwed it in around the perimeter just to give it more. But these aren't flexing at all. So um, super happy with it. Yay, I have storage. Um, but that's all I'm going to do on it tonight. I'm... Um, <laughs> exhausted tired probably need a week vacation but um tomorrow I'm gonna try in the morning to at least get the skin on this side on the outside and maybe frame in the door and then I have an appointment in town so I don't know how much time I'll get to work on it tomorrow but yeah uh it's getting there my my concern is I don't know how I'm going to um, skin around this angle here because they don't really have trim pieces for, <laughs> you know, whatever this is, a 22 degree angle. And the uh, other piece is going to come out. Maybe I'll just have it come straight out. I don't know. I, I'll have to figure out something, though, for uh, trimming this out because one of them is at a 22 degree angle to the other one. And I think that was a 22 degree angle. I don't remember, but you know, I can't just build something square. I got to complicate it all. So <laughs> anyhow, I am really, really liking it. I'm especially liking this side here. And I can't wait to get it painted. I don't know if I videoed it, but I already trimmed out. I did quarter round in that um, area. I did the corner trim on this. And then I got enough to do up on the top all the way around so that it won't look so hokey up there or unfinished up there. And, and I got the stuff to do the corner on the fireplace too. So... Although I am, um, you know, initially I was going to do on the fireplace, excuse the mess over here, <laughs> on the fireplace I was going to do a little mantle that went up two boards and came out. But now with this, the way that this um, whole area is looking, you know if I have a wall out there, maybe, maybe in the future I'll do the mantle. 
I don't know. We'll see. Because I am going to build the wall on the other side of the fireplace to hide the... Um, it's just going to be a little two-foot wall, and it's going to hide the freezer and, you know, kind of block that from view from the um, living room. But I'm not going to do that until I get this, uh, all this food. So now all this and all this stuff can get filled, and all this stuff that's over here behind the door, all those things can all go into the pantry now. I'm super excited. Even the stuff on top of the refrigerator, you know, the all the air fryer and bread maker and, you know, all that good stuff. It can all go in the pantry now. I'm excited, but I'm not going to put anything in it until I get the door on it. So um, hopefully working on it again tomorrow. I know this project's dragging out, but life happens too. And I had to keep going to town to get more wood, but... <laughs> I think I got it all now. <laughs> that pile that was dwindling is now <laughs> growing again, but most of this is gonna be used to build that wall and uh, trim out the door, so. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes for you, a few seconds for you, and uh, tomorrow for me. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Hello dreamers. So I was going to say good morning, but it's afternoon. Um, didn't work on this much yesterday. I'm working on the pantry and I didn't work on it much yesterday because I had a doctor's appointment and I have another doctor's appointment tomorrow. So, um, you know, you go in for a checkup and all of a sudden they have all these tests that they want to run. <laughs> so what I'm doing today, hopefully, is framing in or doing the rough rough in for the door and I'd like to get started on this door I don't know the height yet because the end of the door is kind of messed up but I think I can salvage it so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the two by fours at the weight that I need but I'm not gonna do the height yet because I want to see if I could salvage that door first without having to cut it down so let me put you guys on time lapse and see what I could get done. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when I get things right. Lost in the shadows of a million stars.
Okay, guys, maybe one of you guys knows I hate doing doors, but, well, let's see if I can figure this out. Hold on. Well, I'll just hold this up. So what is happening here is everything meets, everything's flush, except for this up here. It pops out. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but... For now, I'm like so tired and over it that I'm just gonna go with that. I don't even know, maybe the door is warped. I never thought about it being warped. Oops, sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't on the camera. Um, I didn't even think about the door being warped. I just repaired the bottom. I cut off the bottom and repaired it because it wasn't even really wood in between there. It's just um, some kind of cardboard. <laughs> Uh, so, but I'm just going to go with it. It's just popping out a little bit. It closes flush up to here. And if I hold it, it goes, but then there's a bigger gap here. I hate doing doors. I absolutely hate them. But the thing is, this one's just a pantry door, so it's not like it's going to leak or anything. And yeah, I don't know. I might fiddle with it later or go Google and or YouTube it and see why it's popping out on the bottom, but it's all flush. It's all level, so I don't get it. And like I said, I hate doing doors. So now I need to skin the front of it and the side of it. I'm gonna do that with the Luan and uh then I need to decide on a um, design for the front of it. I was looking at a couple of them. They have some that are, you know, old fashioned doors where they have the styles down the side and then a couple across the middle that makes it look old fashioned and then I could paint it all white. Or I could do like the barn door style and then uh, stain it to match my cabinets. But just remember this part's gonna be white, so I don't know if I want a really dark door uh, around a white pantry. I think I'd rather do the whole thing in white. So tell me what you think below, um, what design you think I should put on the door, 
and um, I've been all over Pinterest looking at them and I can't decide. I'm thinking as tired as I am already, <laughs> simple is best. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and put cut the um, the birch plywood and put it on the side here and uh, skin the front of it with the luon and I guess go from there. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with the trim piece over here, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see how it all turns out. But um, I won't. I don't know, maybe I'll put you guys on time lapse for that, but uh, let me go get the piece cut first because that's going to be a lot of crawling around on the floor playing with the saw. Or maybe I could use a table saw. Yeah, anyhow, I want to get that part cut and then uh, I'll decide from there. So I'll be back. I'm going to end this video here because it's probably six weeks long already but this is what I decided to skin the front of it with um, just because there's such a huge gap over here to fill in and I'm still gonna have to figure out a trim piece for this outside but I'm sure I could come up with something anyhow so the front of it is gonna be trimmed in the tongue and groove 
just around the door. That side's gonna be plain. And I can't see what you guys see on the front of this camera because it is black on me now. I don't understand it. Anyhow, I'm tired. It's 4.15, I'm sweaty and hot, and I'm gonna quit for the day because if I don't, I'm gonna wind up messing something up big time. So um, I just have to cut the two pieces of tongue and groove across the top, and then the little ones down this side here. And I'll go ahead and do that off camera because I'm sure you guys are sick of it. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I will do a different video when I come through to paint it and trim out the door, uh, stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end this one here and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. I did not know what it would bring. Now I'm capable of everything.